Well, thank you all for being here. And last week, uh, it's, it's sort of slow this week, which is kind of nice after last week. But uh, with the debt ceiling bill, which I voted for as well, had, I think, a lot of good solutions in it. And one of those that's particular to me is the permitting reform coupled with the Mountain Valley Pipeline. Uh, within days, we will see thousands of West Virginians and others who are going to be constructing the remaining 5% of the pipeline that's still remaining. We'll see product beginning to flow at the beginning of the year, millions of dollars going into the tax revenues of West Virginia and Virginia. And so I'm very pleased that uh, a pipeline that's been in the making for eight years has been permitted by just about everybody, if not everybody, once or twice is now going to be moving and making our, in our eastern seaboard more energy secure. So there's another challenge in that bill. The challenge is, and, and the leader spoke to it, is the 12 appropriations, are the 12 appropriations bills that have yet to be passed. We, I'm a member of the Appropriations Committee. I am the ranking member on the Health Subcommittee, one of the largest bills that we will be considering. We, as appropriating, uh, as members of the Appropriations Committee, are welcoming the challenge of writing bills that are actually going to get onto the floor. We have debate. We have member input from everybody from all areas of the country, both Republicans and Democrats, to try to forge the compromise that we desperately need. And we know with the leadership of Senator Collins, for us Republicans, we couldn't be in better hands. She's deeply committed to this. She knows the process. And as we all know, she does her homework much more deeply than, than any other member that I know. And so if there's a will, there's a way. And she has a lot of will as along with the rest of us. It's in our, be it's in our best interest as a country. It's in our best interest as institutions to get back on track. And uh, I'm certainly committed to it. And I believe this body's committed to it as well.